Hey guys, it's Chris Kringle here, and I'm back with some more of Pokemon Red. And last time we made it through the Viridian Forest and fought some bug trainers, and we caught ourselves a Pikachu, <laughs> uh, which is our newest member. Now we're in Pewter City, and we're going to take a look around and uh, maybe uh, fight a gym, possibly. Uh, so, there's, the, really the whole thing here is, we can't go that way, because that's blocked by that guy, if you try. The Mart here, I don't think I need anything, maybe I could grab a potion or something. I mean, I guess I could buy, like, a three or something. Yeah, that should be good. Alright, and... I think all the other stuff is just, this is... Not much in here. I don't want to like spend forever uh, search through all the houses, but I thought I'd just like take a quick look of anything in, of importance. This, oh yeah, this is the, I think, yeah, this is the, yeah, the museum. I think, I'll take a quick look inside here. Uh, okay, $50 for a child ticket. Do I want in? Fine, take my $50, damn it. So if you look at some of these fossils, this shows was an, a fossil of an Aerodactyl, which is pretty cool. Yeah, primitive and rare Pokemon. We probably won't be seeing much of this guy in this game, just saying. This one looks pretty cool. Wow. I like that skeleton. That's Kabutops fossil, a primitive and rare Pokemon. And that, I think, upstairs is like, yeah, nothing much. It's mostly just the same, so. I thought I'd show that, because I thought it was pretty cool. Get to see some early Pokemon, yo. But what's left here is the gym. Pewter City Pokemon Gym Leader, Brock. The rock solid Pokemon trainer. I think it's safe to say that he probably uses water types. You know, just. It just seems logical. I can tell you what it takes to become a Pokemon champ. I'm no trainer, but I can tell you how to win. Let me take you to the top. No, I'm, I'm good, thanks. It's free service. Let's get happening. The first Pokemon out in the matches at the top. I said no. What the... F changing Pokemon... I said no. Oh, I didn't mean to hit him again. Come on. No, please. All right. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Just let me go, please. Let me go. There you go. All right. So, our first gym... And there's a trainer already. Great. Stop right there, kid. You're still light years away from facing Brock. Classic line everybody remembers. Now, uh, of course, I was kidding here. This is actually just a bunch of... Uh, it's supposed to be the rock-type gym, but yet this guy didn't get the message, apparently, and he's using ground-types. Either way, it's kind of bad for both my Pokemon, so I kind of have to tough it out with Charmander. And he is, wow, Diglett's pretty fast, being the same level, so I won't be able to outspeed him. Luckily, he takes a lot of damage from that critical hit. Excuse me. Another critical... <laughs> oh yeah, something that's weird about this game, uh, Gen 1 specifically. For some reason, uh, critical hits are determined by like, or you have a higher chance of getting a critical hit depending on how fast you are. So, that's kind of dumb, but, you know, you gotta have to deal with it. Oh, that guy's done, so... Dunzo, I'm level 12 now. Great. I need the levels. Sandshrew, I'm going to switch. Just so I can heal up Charmander, because Pikachu can't do anything, really. The Charmander, uh, the Sandshrew uh, sprite looks pretty cute, I'll say. I haven't used any of my potions yet, wow. I still have, like, those two I got really early on. Uh, you know. I didn't need them, I guess. All right, I'll switch back to Charmander. Ah, oh, man. They always, this is always the tough ride, because if you chose the other starters, you would be having a way easier time with this gym, or be able to do it way quicker. Because with this, uh, if you chose Charmander, you'll have a, it'll take a lot longer, and plus might be harder. Uh, but 
I don't know, for me, I never found it hard. It just takes a little longer because, uh... Oh, cool, I learned Thunder Wave. Um... From what I remember, the rock Pokemon that are in this gym don't really have any rock moves, so it's not like you'll be freaking getting screwed at all, so... Uh, oh, it turns out it's uh, measurements. Yeah, if you freaking learn some brains. Oh, here's the man himself. Should I heal? I guess I'll heal. I'll be back in a sec. And I am back now. All right, it's time to face the man himself. I'm Brock, I'm Pewter's gym leader. <laughs> I believe in rock hard defense and determination. That's why my Pokemon are all the rock type. Do you still want to challenge me? Fine then, show me your best. I really wanted him to say, show me your moves. But this was before, so <laughs> he wouldn't have said that. Brock wants to fight, he sent out Geodude. Rock, ground type, very high defense, but low everything else, so he's not too bad to deal with. Um, deal, use Ember a bunch. It probably won't do much, but you know, yeah. It'll be better than Scratch, but ooh, we get the burn though. Oh, he used a full heal melee. This is weird, like, he uses his turn, oh, I guess, yeah. He used his turn to, like, use an item, so I guess that kind of makes sense. I thought, like, because there's, I swear there's been some instances where I've played this game and just, like, they use an item and then immediately use another move. And, like, what's happening? So, you know. Uh, maybe I should have, I don't think I have anything else that would really, like, lower their stuff. Because all I have is Growl on here, and I don't think Pikachu has anything that would lower the stuff. I think he has Growl as well. I don't think he has Tail Whip, so. That will be unfortunate. But overall, you'll it'll just take longer with Charmander. You probably it's not really that much hard. It's not really hard. It just takes longer because you're not really one shotting them. Because if you had chose Bulbasaur or Squirtle, you'd be like one shotting these Pokemon probably by now. But me, I chose the harder route. So that's kind of the deal with it. Is like each star kind of has its own difficulty. Like or at least as the g it differences in how the game progresses like Charmander you start off a little it's a little rough but uh should I even bother yeah whatever uh Charmander you start off a little rough and then you gain it becomes a lot better for you later on uh oh shit bide I should probably switch after this one just or wait, I think, yeah, after this I will. That's more on Onyx than it does on the other ones. Oh, cool, burn. But he probably has another full heal, I bet. All right, Pikachu, now you're up. Just take the damage, please. That's pretty much what you're used for. Oh yeah, you have another full heal. What the heck, man? Yeah, I can't, I guess I could, I guess I could heal Charmander. Even though it's not much. Might as well just so you that full. And then I'll growl, because why not? Yeah. I was hoping I'd maybe live that, but it's not a big deal. I can still do this. And of course you're using Bide again. Usually whenever I play this uh gym, he doesn't use Bide this much, even though it's a signature move. But uh, maybe I should not do that. I was about to attack him again, but now I know I should not be doing that. I'm not sure if the Growl actually lowers his bide thing, but you know, I'll do it because whatever. Oh my god, that did more than I thought it would. I only hit him once. I guess the critical really did it. Um, yeah, I'll use it again. Of course, you're freaking using bide again. Should I even? 
Alright, well, I'm using item, because... I've never had him use Bide this much on me before. Usually he just doesn't do that that much. Well, whatever. Just use Growl a bunch. Like, what the hell? That shouldn't be doing that much. Okay, honestly, I think I should be able to just spam Ember and I should be able to win. If I don't, that would suck tremendously, but ooh. Should I take the risk, though? How many potions do I have left? He could possibly get a critical on me, and Growl doesn't seem to affect it, so... Hmm. You know what, fuck it, I don't care. I'm using this again. Oh, I got critical anyway, haha. <laughs> I win! I had to use three potions, but I did it, and I'm level 14 now. I defeated Brock. I took you for granted. As proof of your victory, here's the boulder badge. I received the boulder badge as the only badge you get while in the text screen. That's an official Pokemon League badge. Its bearers Pokemon become more powerful. The technique flash can be used at any time. We don't have that yet, and we got a bunch of money for winning. Wait, take this with you. I see TM34, which uh, I bet you can guess what that is. It's TM tactical technique to be taught to Pokemon. TM is good only once, so when you use one to teach a new technique, pick the Pokemon carefully. Kane's bide. Of course it does. Your Pokemon will absorb damage in the battle, then pay it back double. Great. All right. Well, we're done there. That was. It could have been quicker, but you know he had to use bite a bunch, so just what happens. And don't you love this generation? How it doesn't have the running in this, so it's not the fastest when moving. But believe it or not, it's apparently faster than like Gen 4, from what I hear, like that, because apparently it's like the slowest in terms of speed and stuff, even when running. <laughs> I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what I heard, so... Yeah, that's just... I found that really peculiar. Anyway, I'm going to switch Pikachu to the front so I can gain up some levels up to come even with Charmander. And I think I'll hit the Mart, because why not? Oh, no. Oh, okay, I do. Alright. I thought something went wrong. Uh, by like three potions. The three potions I used. <laughs> All right, and now off to a new location. We're going to head off this way towards our next city, which now it's all green again. I'm gonna look at a map because why not? Just to show where we're going. So we're here. At, uh, no, that's not where I want. That's weird. I don't know why it does that. Pewter City, and we're going towards Mount Moon, which then goes to Cerulean City. So that's where we're heading next. So we can look forward to that. All right. And we have a bunch of traders to fight along the way. I'll show off some of them, but then like, you know, because eventually like when I'm fighting all these trainers, eventually like I run out of stuff to say and it comes boring and stuff, so. I want to try and like alleviate that as much as I can, especially since like most of these guys go down pretty easily and they use kind of the same Pokemon, so you know, it's not much new, so. Okay, cool, paralyzed. So, it's kind of like my thoughts behind that. And I grew to level 10, that's just great. I beat last. These guys don't have names in this one, which, you know. I guess uh, a famous trainer coming up got his name in the remake, apparently, so 
something. Oh yeah, I guess it's a good time to bring it up. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this instead of the remake Fire Red and Leaf Green, uh, because I want to do the original, because it's the original. Even though I, I like Fire Red more, probably, uh, and I think I recommend playing that over this. I still think that like I, I want to do this because you know it's so, I like to show how things started you know from the beginning so it's kind of like a history lesson in a way so that's how I kind of figured it. Um, what is this? Okay, that was why I got my speed fell. My head needed scratching so I had to do that. And again, more Pokemon we've seen. Hmm. Oh, there's something I was gonna say. Like, what was it? I'm trying to remember. Um. Oh yeah. Uh, recently, well, kind of recently. I think it was like last year or something. Uh, these games got released again on the 3DS eShop, which was really cool because then you got like a new convenient way to play them and stuff. And I, I took it upon myself to also buy them on there, but. And I was thinking about doing playing this game for the Let's Play on that, but the problem was I, I don't have a 3DS capture device, and they're pretty expensive, and I don't know what other games I'd be doing for the 3DS, so I'm not sure how worth it it would be for me to do that, so that's kind of why I held back on doing that, and wow, Pikachu is taking a beating. Uh, but yeah, so even though like you know, it could have been pretty good as well, decided to not go that route instead go with this but I still definitely recommend doing that if you're into if you're into gen 1 stuff then I would recommend getting the 3DS ones because they're pretty much perfect ports they're pretty good they do have this weird tint to them like this yellowish tint which I guess is their way of making it look like like the retro feel you know like you're playing it on the old Game Boy again, but honestly, I don't know. I just kind of would have liked it if it just had the regular colors. That's just my thoughts behind it, but you know, I guess can't please everything. And I grew another level, it seems. So it's pretty good. Be able to catch up with Charmander in due time. I think I might call it here because I don't want an episode to go on too long. So, yeah, it might be a little weird to stop here, but I just, you know. We have a lot more to do with the traveling to Mount Moon. So, I think we'll save that for next episode. See you guys then.